This is a quarter scale model of a bridge port I built approximately 12 years ago. I had a bridge port mill and had heard of a fellow that had built one. And I figured, well, if he could do it, I could do it. So I sat down and with a tape measure and a scale, I measured everything and started building just one piece at a time. I'd measure something and build it, and measure another piece and build it. Having been in and out of plenty of bridge ports over the years, I knew what they were built, how they were built, and what they consisted of. So I just started measuring the parts and dividing them by four. Uh, this little mill was built out of steel tubing. The column and the foot, uh, the foot was uh, C6 channel iron. The column was four inch by, I think, three eighths wall square tubing. The knee was fabricated out of quarter inch steel plate, all welded together. The table, the saddle, the head, I used cast iron. Uh, the little Kurt, miniature Kurt vise is made out of uh, preheat treated 4140. It has a working cool mist system. All the movement that a bridge port has, the tilt and nod of the head and the ram going in and out and the turret turning, this one all does the same thing. The spindle will raise up and down. Uh, it has about eight inches of travel on the table, about three and a half inches in and out, and three and three quarter inches up and down. The motor is a 36 volt DC. I use a variable speed drive on it. Uh, get out of my light here. Uh, it's got six speed pulley on the head, uh, belt change. Uh, it's a little bitty ER16 collets, maximum 3 eighths capacity. Uh, I built all the tooling for it. Consists of tight L set, angle plate, parallels. A little fly cutter that's about an inch in diameter. Along with a one inch diameter board head. Copy of a criterion. I have a little bitty tiny drill chuck that I can use in it. Uh, if you notice the little hand wheel up there beside the quill you can lock it and turn that and ease the quill down. Uh, that took about two years to build. I've got about 2,000 hours in it. I hope you enjoy. I call that my Shreveport Mini Mill. Maybe you can see it. Thanks for watching.